So, so maybe just kind of right off the bat, I'll just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. to you broadly, you know, uh, there's this American Jiu Jitsu term out there these days that that's cropping up more and more, it seems like, um, you know, some people like it, some people don't, it seems like, seems like a, a polarizing term, but I just wanted to get your take maybe mm -hmm. broadly off the bat. Have you mm -hmm. heard this term American Jiu Jitsu? And, and if so, what, what does it mean mm -hmm. to you? Yeah, I think the term American Jiu Jitsu has been around for quite a while. Um, I remember uh, Jake Shields, you know, and like the Diaz brothers, uh, you know, that whole Caesar Gracie camp way back in the day. I think they were using the, the term American Jiu Jitsu, which right off the bat, what comes to mind is uh, for me is more like a no gi, like blend of wrestling and Jiu Jitsu, you know. Um, that's what I think of. Now, as far as the, the term American Jiu Jitsu, um, you know, I'm not such a fan of it. Um, I, I, to me, jiu-jitsu is just a way of life. It's like, it, it's a martial art for everybody, you know, that we all get to share and love and um, just dedicate ourselves to, to learning. And everyone gets to create their own style, their own identity in jiu-jitsu, you know. Uh, no two people are ever, ever going to be the same. And and now it's worldwide. I mean, it's so worldwide. And we have, um, you know, incredible competitors uh, all over the world in these countries that you would almost never even expect, um, you know, a high level jiu jitsu guy to come out of there, you know, Poland and all across Europe. Uh, I mean, there have been great guys from Australia. I mean, you know, all over the place, of course, America, um, you know, Canada, you know, so. Uh, like if we start doing that, every country can, oh, there's Polish Jiu Jitsu, there's Canadian Jiu Jitsu, you know, there's all this Jiu Jitsu. Um, to me, it's just Jiu Jitsu. And, uh, and the way, you know, you, you get to put it together, you know, it's, it's, then that's you. Then you have Reed Jiu Jitsu, you know, you have Lovato Junior Jiu Jitsu, you know. Uh, I, I understand that, but for the country or the, the nationality to it, um, of course, when we think of our style of jiu-jitsu, we say Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you know. Um, and so that's still out there. That's just more because that helps people understand, hey, we're not doing Japanese jiu-jitsu, you know, just for the sport of it. But, um, but we live and breathe jiu-jitsu. And, and I, I'll always just call it jiu-jitsu. Uh, you know, I, I represented America, you know, the United States, um, at, at the highest level of gi competition for, for about a decade. I was on the podium every year and I never thought of myself as being like, you know, as wanting to say, I'm American Jiu Jitsu, you know. Um, I mean, my, my brothers, the closest people to me that are like family but aren't blood, they're Brazilian, you know, and, um, and I, I would never say that I do American Jiu Jitsu or anything like that. And, you know, I, I, of course I understand our roots and I grow, grew up going to Brazil and learning Jiu Jitsu in Brazil, competing in Brazil. And I fell in love with it in Brazil. The time I really fell in love with Jiu Jitsu was in my first trip to Brazil. Um, so, you know, for me, like I said, it, it's, it's Jiu Jitsu and, uh, and I, I don't get too caught up in putting all these other names to it.